tape down here as well. That's nice. Kind of know it's authentic. And there you have it. Oops, pretty simple. Have the directions, how to fix the gas clamp and everything. I think pretty straightforward. If you guys are here, probably might have seen other videos as well, right? So no problem, put this aside. And it's a very, very simple little thingy. Wow. Okay, this is heavy. Wow. Don't know if you can hear that. This is solid, man. This is really heavy. This will really fit on my, and you can even pull it. See, you can pull that there. Yeah. That's nice. I like it. This is the... Nothing's inside. Okay. Oh. Some, uh... I think these are some... Adjusters. Ah, so you have the... Sorry about that. Allen key and two little adjusters. So this is, I think, the quarter inch one. And this is the three ace for your XLR cameras, your heavy cameras. This is what you use. This is for your mic. I have a HyperX. I'll be attaching it soon. That's nice. It's okay. Everything is here. Finally, the main part. Box is empty. And there you have it. Wave mic arm help me. Let's see. Is this tight here? Not too tight, but maybe I'll use the Allen key and loosen it up a little bit. Alright, so let me just loosen it. Hope I don't hit the screen. So it says there, if you can see, it's just a number. So it doesn't really give you the, tell you left or right. Ah, okay. There you go. Let's loose pretty loose so now it's moving very loose okay nice okay so here this is the clamp that I'm going to show you how versatile and useful it is because it's able to clamp up to a table that is that has a depth of six centimeters my table i had a lot of issues because as i can show you here it's five centimeters thick it is very very thick and these tables that is an ikea mom table so unlike normal computer tables which are about 3.5 centimeters thick these tables are five centimeters thick and as i'll show you later you cannot clamp anything on the side. You look at it, as you can see a bit on the table on the side there. So the good thing about this, it goes up to six centimeters. As you can see, it's got a lot of space. It's easily clampable. You can pull the knob in case you don't have any space, pull it down, stretch it to one side, tighten it again. And just by after, pu pu after turning it a few knobs, <coughs> it's already tight on the table as you can see. And it's quite sturdy as well. So now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you how I'm fastening, fastening one end of it into the clamp. And it will stay there pretty, pretty sturdy. Now I'm going to show you some of the knobs that you need to tighten that are around the Elgato Wave Mic Arm LP. This little Allen key little screw here tightens the clamp to the first knob. It's only you only need to turn it a little bit and <coughs> that's about it is good enough. Now the next thing I'm going to do is show you the second place where you can tighten and that is on the top piece which you keep, which is removable. Here it has another clamp or so. So if Elgato does make products in the future and they say, oh, you can mix and match products, you can put this on that, that on this, this will be useful. So this little Allen key slot over here 
tightens this movement, the movement of this uh, axle over here. And this one is very important here, the one I'm doing right now. This causes the top one to stay in its place. If you don't tighten that top one, the top part, this entire top uh, arm will, will drop down. It will not stay in place. So here I'm just showing a little bit of adjustment and a little bit of height just to show a bit of the height. And I'm trying to find the right placement for it here. So you see, these are some of the things that you might have, you what, that you will experience when you're troubleshooting how to place your mic on your table. And this is the cable management. I have the HyperX Quadcast, which you will see in a second how I try to fasten it on this. You can remove the top plate, which is very thin and very, it's nice, it feels nice, it feels steel, but it's very flimsy. So uh, I'm sorry about the audio here, but what you do is you got two, two slots here that you just slide in and out easily. Unlike the high-rise Elgato Wave mic arm, that uses a rubber cable management cover, and uh, that one is pretty solid because apparently you have to really push that inside. Now this, as you will see in a moment as I'm trying to fix the, align the wires inside, the top cover, part cover of it actually comes up pretty easily, right? So this is how I'm lining up the cable from the back until from the first attachment all the way under my main monitor. As you can see, even that little knob thing that goes in, the hole is big enough for you to put any XLR mic in it, through it. These are two little magnets that is supposed to keep the, the top uh, cable management cover under. But to be honest with you, it doesn't really do that much. It just feels very uh, light. And it's not, it's not a very strong magnet. It's kind of a very, it doesn't really feel, I don't know how to explain it, but it doesn't really feel magnety, if that makes any sense. So here I am, I'm putting back the top cover on the back. And after that, I'll do it for the front as well. Okay, this is me with the finishing touches. Fixing the cable right on the, on the front. All you gotta do is just push it under, right in the middle. Put this on top, it slots easily. And um, I will show you just in a little bit here how it, there you go. It comes out so easily, it just snaps off very, very easily. So uh, I think you might have a lot of problems if you're using an XLR mic because those cables are very thick and they're very sturdy. Certain mics are very, very strong, hard mic. So if you put it in here, guys, get used to when you move it out of the way, it's definitely going to pop. Okay, so I got to remove this. That's it, just one washer over there. Now, okay, so you gotta have this side extra part here. And what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to fix this on, on it so you can attach it to the boom arm. So I got one washer in there, second washer on the side. Just nicely fits in there. in feels tight already feels tight already that's good put one of the parts in this part here on one side one of those holes here. of course it won't go in easily oh I'll put it in the wrong side 
Okay, it's supposed to go that side. It's got grooves over there, you can see. Bit of grooves here. And then this one. Put this there. Just to tighten it up. And there you have it. It's nice and stuck. Now, I have to fix this into the mic arm. Alright, into the Elgato. I may have used the wrong one. Let's see. Interesting. So this is the big hole for this. Seems that I might have to use this. Not this one. I made a mistake. So okay, you put this inside here. I'm guessing. Ah, perfect fit. Okay, you twist it. See, it's got grooves. Twist it in. Okay, okay. Fits nice. It's nice. We take this. Put it on top. Hope you guys can see. Yeah, yeah. And then you turn it. My gonna run. Ooh, look at that. Pretty close to the camera. Zoom. 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 It's quite smooth. You gotta admit. Okay. <coughs> now that's tight. Now let's see. Okay, here it's not tight enough yet. Might want to tighten this part here. Okay, let's see if I can tighten this. Tighten. Oh, there you go. It's tight. It's not was dropping. Just a little adjustment here on that, on that knob there. And it's tight. That's good. I like that. Don't have to mess with it too much. It's good. Now, let's see how I get this mic to my mouth. So, there are all the screws here, I suppose. There you go. Oh, there you go. It's quite easy. It's got the little ball head here. And the ball head, I heard it, it, it detachable. So, you can remove it. See if I can go closer there, this ball head here. As you can see, it's movable. I tightened it, sorry. So it moved everywhere, all over the place. You can remove it. Okay, let's see. Now I need to be talk. I need it close to my mouth, which means right on the <coughs> edge of the table here somewhere. So because it's a cardioid, cardioid mic, I don't want it in the way of the screen. So maybe I might put it like this. I put it like this. I even put it like this. For the time being, what I'll do is I'll put it like this. That's for today. Alright. Put it upright. Oop, I saw a little bit of dip there, but I think that's because of the tightening here, the screw here. <laughs> Still dropped a little bit, eh? Okay, okay, I know what to do. Let's try adjusting it this way. Maybe like this. Maybe like this. There you have it. <laughs> so you can move this up and down. Again, loosen this part up. Can move it up, down pretty high up to like this I want it near the mouth so it's pretty good this way alright there you have it guys the mic low profile 
on a 5 cm thick table from the back. Now, just a little bit of specs. <clears throat> the length of this from the front all the way to the back with that at that length is 740 millimeters. Okay, so it's about 74 centimeters. It's about 20, 20 plus inches. Okay, so you can reach all the way to the table here, and this is where this is where I'll be sitting. You can move it in, so I can move it away like that, and it won't won't be in my purview. Move it like that. The lights are there. If I wanted a bit more space, what I could do. Now, if I wanted more space, what I could do is I could move the arm and put it here. That way, it'll come all the way outside. And I can move it. But I wanted to give you all some dimensions so you guys can figure out how it works. It gets that much give on the side of the PC, about two fingers much, two fingers length. Cable management is excellent, of course. Absolutely excellent. It just goes all the way to the back. Easy, right? So what you need is your mic here. Let me switch it off. That's off, that's on. Mic here that you can talk to. You can easily access to your screens. And if you want to move it away, for example, sorry, wrong hand. Move it front. Nobody will see it. I'll move it to the side. Easy to the side. Now, unfortunately for me, I cannot clamp this on the side because the side of the table has, have, doesn't allow me to clamp it. So, I can only go from the back. Either way, it looks very nice. If it doesn't work there, I might try this spot. I did not want to take the high rise or it will get in the way of the monitor. So, yeah, that's about it, guys. Selamat, terima kasih kerana menonton. And jika anda ada apa-apa soalan, sila tanya saya di dalam komen. You guys have any questions please ask me in the comment section this i suppose is for the other mics so this elgato wave mic lp can actually fit any mic it's as long as you have these adapters so do not worry about that i gotta say it feels really this is my first ever mic arm and it feels absolutely sturdy as hell really sturdy i'm happy with it i need to get used to it and you can see like if you want to put it higher so you won't hear the keyboard sound you can it's just that for me i'm just setting it up as a temporary thing because the item just arrived today and i wanted to open it quickly so that the warranty and all that i can check the warranty and stuff so thank you very much for tuning guys i hope you enjoyed this do like and subscribe and stay tuned for a fun time and for more good content peace out guys